Hello everyone! We're trying out something new, so we're hoping that it works. We're going to wait just a little bit and let everybody kind of join in and join us. Your phone just let us know where that it's live time on we, the event. We are live. Yes. And I'm here, you guys. I'm very nervous <laughs> also. <laughs> she has to make a craft. No. She's making the craft tonight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. We're all going to watch this happen in person. Yeah, I know. Tan's making a craft tonight. <sighs> Deep breathing exercises. For those of you <laughs> who get nervous making crafts, is <sighs> No. No. It's going to be very exciting. Mm -mm. Very exciting. We're very happy you're joining us. We're trying out a new little system this evening with our Retwist It Kit um, Craft Night Live Shop mm -hmm. event. Mm -hmm. That was a lot of teas. That was a lot of <laughs> A lot of cheese. <laughs> we are trying out this new system. We're hoping that it works. Let us know what you think of it. We are going to be making our retwisted kit. And yes, guys, yes, it is winter time outside. So yes, in fact, I have a scarf on. I have a big fuzzy vest on. I have a flannel on. I also have my twisted kit craft night apron on. And see if I can get my foot up here. No. Fuzzy boots. I have those on too. <laughs> yes, it is winter time outside. It's happening. Don't judge. Also, I wore mittens today. Right. That happened. Well, that happened for sure. We are greeting Jim, Pam, Angelica, and Caroline. Hi, guys. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Yes, Thank indeed. you, Angelica, for the vote of confidence in uh, letting me know that I can do this. Did she say you can do it? You can do it. Okay. It's fun. I'm so scared. It's fun. Okay. If you guys weren't able to come and get a craft because we were a little late at posting to remind everyone about the craft night because we were off on our road trip, so we were a little late in posting the reminder to get your craft kits. We still have a few available. Mm -hmm. If you would like to come pick one up, you can absolutely do that. After this evening, Tanya will have everything up and... um. For sale at the store. Yes. It'll be available. Cute bottles to use for your kit. Yes. So yes, yes, indeed. Definitely stop by. Yes, indeed. And uh, we have lots and lots and lots of more bottles. Well, maybe, perhaps. <laughs> perhaps. So get your supplies out and ready. Now you got your kit. Mm -hmm. So your kit included your bottle and your little baggie of goodies. Right? So you have your supplies. Now the supplies that will be required or strongly recommended to complete your craft this evening. Glue, and we talked about this amazing E6000 glue that is the best glue, and a pair of um, fancy scissors. You're going to need some of those. And then, because this is a candy bottle, mm -hmm. candies are not included. We used peanut M&Ms if you are not available to watch our live shop our studio showcase live shop last Thursday mm -hmm. we did create one of these uh, we didn't create one no no we advertised one that was already completed that had the peanut M&Ms in it I struggled at getting the peanut M&Ms out that is a true story mm -hmm. but the only reason that I struggled at that was because on film I didn't want to be doing this and make it look like I really wanted those peanut M&Ms. However, I did. Yes. And so after the live shop, I definitely did do that. And right. we partook in peanut M&Ms. We did, because I've been partooking all week. It is unfortunate. Pretty much the jar is empty, so yeah. we'll have to have a refill We'll have to refill this. that. <laughs> so keep in mind. So it's not that hard to get the peanut M&Ms out. That's you just, the lesson. you got to work at it. Keep in mind the size of the top of your bottle. It's about one inch. So keep that in mind when you're shopping for the candy. You can't right. get a Reese cup in there, guys. <laughs> right. Will could not you work very actually, well. like, save the Reese cup, though? I mean, who could actually have that much willpower well, if you could not me. put it in there? And they and have like, pumpkin Reese cups. You could put Reese's pieces, though. Reese's there. pieces would be amazing in there. Yeah. So, get your bottle. Bottle. Get your baggie of goodies. Goodies. Okay? So, we're going to open up our little baggie of goodies, and inside, you will have your little wood ball. Now, if you're super fancy and creative, you could paint your wood ball if you wanted to. Ooh. We're going to go on natural with ours. That is your wood ball. You have the twine that was tying your little baggie of goodies to your bottle. So you have your twine. You have your little fabric strip. Very good, very good. It matches. It matches. Coordinates. 
You have your raffia. Oh, Tan's digging for hers. There we go. Got your raffia. <laughs> We're struggling already, guys. Look out. You have your two pieces of colorful twine included. Was I was I not throwing my voice? I wasn't throwing yeah, my voice enough. Probably stay towards the middle. I'll stay towards the middle. Okay, I'll throw I'll throw my voice more. Thanks for letting us know, guys. Mm -hmm. You have your two coordinating pieces of twine. These are softer twine mm -hmm. than the one that was holding your baggie to the bottle. So you got your two. Oh, there you go. Tanya's got her coordinating twine, and you have a piece of um, like lace. Or I have like this uh, little ruffly skirt piece for mine. And Tanya has hers. There you go. There you go. All righty. Tan's is black and gold. It's very fancy. So my bottle is the Naked Grape Moscato. Mm -hmm. Deliciously amazing. Tan has... Frontera. It's after midnight wine. Right. Right. So when you're sitting out by the fire pit and it's time to crack open yet another bottle of wine, that would be the one. So we're going to start out with our bottle. And where I'm going to start is with my largest piece of um, notion, my embellishment. So I'm going to start with my largest embellishment, which for me will be, oh, rut roll. I lost my stopper under there somewhere. We'll we'll fish for that later. I'm going to start out with my piece of ruffle. Okay? Now, you get to choose on your bottle where you would like to put that largest piece of embell embellishment. I'm going to choose to put mine right along the bottom of the label of my bottle. So she's going to have a little skirt on. It's a little sad because on the bottom of my bottle, on the bottom of that label, it has a super cute little saying. It says, Naked Truth Number 15. You're not fully dressed until you put on a smile. I love that. I think it's super cute, but we're going to cover it with a really adorable little skirt. So, <laughs> so what you want to do is make sure that you're cutting your piece of embellishment the right size. So you're going to take that piece wrap it around the bottle where you want it to be and then make sure that you have enough and you can cut that extra bit off okay does that make sense tan you mm -hmm. got it i think i got Tan's it got it she thinks she's got it <laughs> <laughs> we shall all see <laughs> so i'm going to cut my little floofy here so I have just enough to wrap around my bottle. And this is where the glue comes in very handy. It doesn't take much, especially if you're using the E6000 glue. It does not take much at all. So I'm going to put a little bit of my glue <laughs> right along this top strip of they're, my ruffle. They're liking how you're dressing a naked bottle. <laughs> Oh, we shouldn't say naked on public TV. Sorry, oh, guys. Sorry this is a that. children's... Well, I mean, you get naked to get in the bathtub. Oh, that's, that's so a wonderful experience. <laughs> True. <laughs> that is super cute. I didn't even recognize that. Thanks, you guys. <laughs> Thanks for noticing. <laughs> She's going to have a skirt on. Ooh, Do you okay. need the glue yet? Okay, I see what you're doing Oh, here. Tan got confused already, guys. Okay, all right. She forgot she needed glue. Okay. She was going to try to put it on without glue? I'm not sure. I was going to lick and stick. Uh oh, Tan, you're falling oh, off there. Oh, goodness. Oh, you guys, I wish you could see it. <laughs> oh, you can see it! Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Don't pressure me. <laughs> you're on camera. <laughs> <laughs> I don't use glue. Okay. Glue. okay. <laughs> She's glued. She's glued. Did you cut it first? I did. I, okay, did, I did follow those first. instructions. She cut it first. We're good. Okay. So now, you want to line up your little embellishment right where you want it to be. And I'm going to put mine so it's just over the top of my cute little saying. And you definitely do not have to put it on there so that it's all straight. You can put it on there crooked, zigzag at an angle, however you want it to be. 
I'm going to put mine on very linear because I feel like, you know, she's a wine bottle. If her skirt's hanging a little sideways, you know, people might start thinking things. So, <laughs> we're going to make sure that her skirt is hanging nice and straight. There you go. Super cute. She's got her little skirt on. Like a little cheerleader skirt. It's adorable. I love it. Oh, Tan needed more glue. Do you need a second hand, Tan? She didn't get enough glue. That was that part where you guys saw she kind of fell off the glue stick there. That was that that part. <laughs> How you doing? Uh, She's getting it. She's getting it. Okay. Okay. But what if I want to put this at the top? Well, you can. Okay. You're left. So now Tan asked a very good question here, guys. She's talking about she had some leftover of her little black and gold cording. She wanted to know if she could put it at the top of her bottle. So she's measuring out. Putting that at the top of the bottle. If you have enough left, put that stuff wherever you want it. Make your bottle look super cute and scream your personality because this is your candy bottle. It needs to exemplify exactly who you are. So Tana is giving hers a cute little, like a little tuxedo, like a uh, um, like a little bow tie on hers. So we're going to open this glue. We're going to see if she struggles again. I'm going to make sure my bottle's out of the way so you guys can watch this in full form. <laughs> Great. You just, you just lay it on, don't you? <laughs> She's getting it. This is the easy part. I'm nervous about what happens next. Bring it up a little bit. Squish me some glue out there. There we go. Whew. Okay, she's got it. She's wrapping her little necktie around there. Now with your E6000, it will run a wash tan while she concentrates on her necktie. If you're using the E6000 glue, make sure you're in a well-ventilated area or have a fan on because it is pretty strong. Also, when you're done using it, squeeze it very gently. It comes out quite quickly. And then when you're done with that little portion, put your lid back on. Because next thing you're going to notice, you're going to go to pick it up again and it's going to be oozing out all over your workspace. We learned that the hard way. Yes, we did. You have a lot of leftover glue. Right. So, put the cap back on until you're ready to use it again and squeeze it very, very gently. Alrighty, so Tanya has her base ribbon on the bottom and her little necktie on the top. She even did it a little cross angled so it's like a little bow tie. Mm, need to get a little button so I can put a little... Oh, yeah. Little oh, for sure, yeah, guys. That would be really cute. Yes, add buttons and bangles and glitter. Mm. Glitter. Glitter. So, next, we're going to take out... Your piece of twine, I'm, I'm losing stuff here. There we go. Your piece of twine that was holding your baggie. Now that's the kind of rough, you can even see it's kind of got like shredded shaggy. little, yeah, it's super shaggy little piece of twine. I like this one because it's almost like a grapevine. So I like how it stays kind of curly, it's kind of shaggy, and grapes because we're using wine bottles. So you're going to tie your twine wherever you want it to be. Anywhere that screams your personality. Now I'm going to put mine on the top, kind of at an angle, because I feel like it's her little grapevine stems right on the top there. Now a good idea to do with this is take a little bit of your glue and put it on the twine where you're going to have it. Where you're going to have it on your bottle. So I'm going pretty much for the center of my twine. So I'm going to put a little bit right in the middle of that center piece of twine where it's going to lay on my bottle. And then I'm going to tie it around the neck of my bottle. I'm going to tan a little bit of glue here. And I'm going to tie it around. And I'm doing mine at an angle so that it kind of hangs off to the side. Cap on so we don't get glue on the phone. Thanks. You can tie this twine, it's kind of tricky to tie in a bow because it is it's a little stiff. You can tie it in a bow or a knot. I'm gonna do a knot with mine, and then what I'm gonna do before I tie my knot, so I've kind of started my knot. So I've done that first wrap around mm -hmm. for a knot, and then to make sure that my knot stays in, especially because this twine is it's super scratchy, it's super, super thick, it doesn't really want to hold on to itself. So what I'm going to do 
is put a little dab of glue right on where the be the beginning knot is at. So I'm going to put a little dab of glue right in there so that when I tie my second knot, it's going to stick to itself. So Tan's going to do her dab of glue. And I'm going to put the lid on that glue while she ties her knot. Got it? Mm -hmm. Oh, she can even do it one-handed. She doesn't need me. <laughs> All right. Tie your knot nice and tight. And then you'll notice that your glue kind of dabs out a little bit. So you want to smooth it down over your knot, making sure that it gets right inside so that you don't have that knot coming undone. The really cool thing about the E6000 glue as well is that if you get it on your project where you don't want it to be, it's really easy. Like I have a little bit, I don't know if you can really see it. Oh yeah, you can, look at that. <laughs> right there where I don't really want that glue. So what works really nice is that you can just roll over that glue and it comes right off. Even after it's dry, it still comes right off. You just rub right over top of it and there you go, voila. So now she has her cute little skirt on and her little grapevine necktie at the top. Super, super cute. Tan's got hers on there. She has a cute little grapevine that kind of wraps up and then her little swirly grapevine off to the side there. <laughs> He's kind of rogue. He's a little rogue, yeah. <laughs> so now we're going to take our little piece of fabric. So you got little fabric strips that kind of coordinate with your bottle. What I'm going to do with mine is tie them around her little necktie, her little grapevine necktie here at the top. So I'm just going to make a knot around what I've already tied of my grapevine, right? I should add some glue to that. Keep sliding it. So you can add this wherever you like it, wherever it'll fit and you like how it looks. That's where you're going to add it. So I'm adding it around her little grapevine necktie just to bring the color, that pop of that orange color that she has down around her skirt, up to the top as well. And make sure that you tie it in a knot so that it stays put. And then... What I'm going to do with mine is that I'm going to actually shred it a little bit so that it looks a little more kind of just vintage-y, scraggly, um, but you can still see the color. So with this fabric, we use kind of a soft cotton fabric. I'm going to snip the end, about half an inch at the end, and then you just pull the two pieces apart all the way up, and then it kind of shreds for you. So you have little scraggles. So it looks nice, it looks cute and like just kind of roughed around the edges. I'm gonna add some glue while Tanya snips hers so that her necktie stays in place. Sounds like Tan's getting fancy, she's cutting all up and down. <laughs> there we go, now she'll stay in place. So what Tan's doing is that she's actually cutting strips all the way to the top. You can show them how you did that, Tan. Mm. She cut strips all the way to the top of each one. She did multiple strips so that she would have kind of like a little shaggy tie on. Right. And my grapevines. And her grapevines. <laughs> that went rogue. Her rogue grapevine. All right. So... There we go. We got neckties, we got skirts, we got grapevines, all super cute. Okay? <laughs> now, we're going to take our raffia. So you each got some raffia in your pack. Can you, yep, there you go. Tan got her raffia. She was undecided on what that was, but she found it. She's got it. Okay, we're good. <laughs> now, with your raffia, you get it also wherever you like that best. I'm thinking what I'm going to do is actually wait for my raffia for a moment because I'm going to go to one of my twines. Mm, okay. So we're going to put our raffia back down. Okay. I changed my order. Okay. Changed it up a little bit. So you have your two pieces of twine, right? Your soft twine, okay? 
Now you get to choose what color you want to use to tie. I have to find my ball. It rolled. It rolled away on me. Oh, found it. Okay, here we go. Okay, got it. There it is. <laughs> now your ball is the stopper on the top of your bottle. It's your lid, right? So you get to choose which piece of twine you want to use to put your stopper attached to your bottle. Okay. I'm thinking I'm going to use my darker twine. Mm. Okay. What do you guys think? You know, should I use my black twine or the like kind of creamy kind twine? Kind of creamy you twine. Let me know because I'm indecided. Undecided. Indecided. Undecided. I can't even talk. See, I told you guys. I'm so nervous. No, this glue is fuming. <laughs> That's what's going on. That's what it is. Set your twine your stopper twine and your stopper aside okay okay so mm -hmm. tell tan what color she should use for her stopper twine okay and you're going to set that aside and we're going to use the other piece of twine okay okay mm -hmm. now that other piece of twine just like everything else because this project is all about you you're going to decide where you want to put that other piece of twine what i'm going to do with mine mm -hmm. is tie it around the center of her little skirt Okay, mm -hmm. and what I'm going to do with it is give her a little bow in the front of her skirt mm -hmm. with that piece of twine. Okay, so the same thing here, putting just a little dab of glue, you can put a little dab of glue in the front, in the back, where you're putting that twine just so that it kind of holds it in place better for you. Like I didn't do well enough at the top, but now I fixed it, it's good now. We're good. <laughs> So I'm just going to put a little dab of glue so that my twine around her skirt will stay in place for us. And I'm going right around her waistband on her skirt. And I'm just going to tie a sweet little knot before I do the bow so that it stays tied. Now, when you guys finish your little candy bottles, I want you to make sure that you send those pictures to us so that we can see what you created. Your individual, individualized right. candy bottle. And what candy you put in it, of course. Right, that is right, the most of course. That, that is the most important part. Most important part. Mm -hmm. So, I have her knot tied around the center of her skirt. Now, I'm going to tie a cute little bow in there. I did mine slightly different. How did how did Tan do hers? Oh, look at Tan's! She put like a little fuzzy necktie on. That's so cute. <laughs> like he has a little tuxedo. Hee hee. Tra la la. Dee What did mommy say? Tra la la. Little dee dee. The fly has married the bumblebee. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now. I have the little bow, and I'm going to add my little drop of glue so that my bow does not come untied like we did in the other spots where we tied our twine. So I have my little bow in the center of her skirt. I added a little drop of glue in there, and I'm just making sure that it's spread out kind of around the knot. Something that I use a lot when I do these crafts, especially when I'm using the glue, um, well, I use cuticle sticks because, of course, as you guys know in one of my previous lives, um, I worked as a cosmetologist and did a lot of nails, so I have cuticle pushers, like wooden cuticle pushers. They work really, really well. Better than a toothpick because a toothpick is, like, pointy on the end. The cuticle pushers are blunt on the end, so you can really kind of move the glue around how you want it. They work really, really slick. I'm pretty sure Amazon has them. <laughs> so... What I'm also going to do down here to make the bottom super cute, Tanya did it on the top of hers. This twine, you'll see, is kind of in a twist. So if you take those ends and you just untwist them like that, you can see it kind of coming apart, right? Mm -hmm. And then you just grab onto one of those strings and pull it off of the rest of them to finish untwisting it. And you just do that all the way up and down that whole piece of twine. So that you have little swirlies that come out. Yeah, kind of kind of frizzes up her hair. Like a crimping iron and aqua neck. Right. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that to the other side of her bow. 
Did you, what did you guys come up with for what twine Tanya should use for her stopper? Right. Oh, I guess they made up your, you made up your I mind. I made up my mind. Well, because you started describing what we were going to do, and I was like, oh, ooh. You had a vision. A dream. A vision. A dream. So hopefully it was acceptable to it's everyone. It's very acceptable. So there we go. She has her little frizzy hair, and I'm going to trim her bangs. So they're a little shorter than her skirt here. There we go. Oh, that's cute. Mm. All right. Not that. Now we're going to rewind back to our raffia. Oh. Okay. So we got our raffia. Okay. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now you can use the whole piece, and we talked last time about how you can kind of pull it apart, shred it, it'll kind of curl. You can do whatever you want with this. You can use the whole piece, break it up so that you have little skinny pieces, mm. however you want to do it. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add mine to the top, to her little grapevine little thingy we have going on up here. Mm. Okay? okay. So I'm going to wrap mine around where we tied the knot. Right? And then I'm going to tie the raffia in a knot at the very base of everything else that I tied there. So it's going to go all the way back against the bottle behind the other pieces that I tied there. Make sure you tie it in a knot so it stays put. And then, we talked about last time, one of the really cool things with raffia is that you can pull it apart so many times. It just peels apart and makes all kinds of little tiny strips of raffia that just sprig out everywhere. It's so fun and it makes it look so festive without even doing anything. So there's the one side where we kind of frayed that side and this is the other side how we started. What a difference, right? So I'm going to keep shredding my raffia while you guys are working on getting yours in place where you like it best. Now you can trim your raffia, you can keep it long and flowy like I did, however you like it. Now if you do put it at the top of your bottle, like I put mine at the top of my bottle, if yours is around the neck, if it's up even higher, you want to keep in mind that that's where the candy will be coming out of your bottle. So you want to make sure that it doesn't get in the way of your candy coming out of that bottle. <laughs> yeah, no so keep that up. candy distribution. No interference. Mm -hmm. No interference. So there we go. Got my raffia all shredded at the top of the bottle with her little grapevines and her little fabric pieces coming out of there. She's got her cute little skirt on with her little bowl around the waist. We frayed that twine to make it all cute and curly for her. So that's what we got going on so far. Let's check out what Tan's got going on here. Mm -hmm. She's shredding raffia. Yeah, I think I'm going to trim. trim You're going to trim it? Mm -hmm. Should we trim her bangs? Yeah, trim her bangs. Where would you like it? Mm -hmm. uh, like maybe up there. So that's up a high? Bit more. Yeah. Okay, like right here. Mm-hmm. Okay, we trimmed Tan's bangs. There we go. That's what Tan's got going on. She made her twine all fancy. Oh, her twine does that by itself. It does. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely adopted the grapevine idea. It did. It did. All right, guys. We are down to our final step. The most important part. The lid. Mm -hmm. Protecting the candy. Mm -hmm. so got your Got your stopper it's right on top of the bottle, right? You have your last piece of twine. Okay? So what we're going to do first is tie our ball to our twine. So you take your ball. It has a hole through it, right? You stick your twine through the hole so that it comes out on the other side. Okay? Just like that. Pull that through so that you have enough coming through that you can tie it in a knot on top of your ball. Okay? So we're going to tie our twine in a knot on top of the ball. So we have one little knot and we're going to tie it in a second one. But we're going to put the glue on that first knot to make sure that our knot stays tied because you don't want your stopper falling off. 
So we're going to put a little dab of glue right in the center of that first knot. Do you, you leave a bit hanging, you know? I leave a bit hanging. I, I cut it when I'm done. Okay. Um, so that I know that I don't not have enough. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, we're going to put a little dab of glue right in the center of that starter knot that we tied. Okay? That's not going to come unglued. It won't. Or untie it. It's not. It, it is, it is uh, permanently knotted. Permanently knotted. Now we're going to finish our knot right on top of our little bit of glue that we put in there to make sure that it doesn't come undone. And then, you guys remember, you have your little dab of glue that kind of squeezes out in there. You're going to smooth it out around that whole knot that all your little pieces are stuck together inside that knot. Okay? Okay. So now you have a little tail on one end of your knot and you have a longer tail on the other side. Right? Little tail, longer tail. Okay. You can leave your little tail if you want to. I'm going to cut mine off. Cans oh, losing stuff. <laughs> Ball down. <laughs> She's getting excited about the the tail on one end. I was, I was, I was debating. I Do you want to keep it? Yeah, I think I'm going to okay. see if it'll actually unravel correctly. She's going to fray her tail. <laughs> so there's your stopper. Now with the other long tail that you have left, that tail ties around the top of the neck of your bottle. Now you can leave that as long as you want to. What you want to remember is that if you tie it so it's long, the ball stopper will hang way down. Okay? Mm -hmm. So you might want to think about tying it up a little shorter so that your ball stopper doesn't hang down off the bottle so far. Okay? But you want to make sure that you don't tie it so short that your stopper doesn't reach the top of the bottle to close it. Okay? So you want to make sure that you have enough that it can come up and, and close your bottle. Okay? However long you would like to make it. If you want it to drag on the table when you un un <laughs> uncork your bottle, that's absolutely up to you. You can absolutely do that. Okay? I'm going to let mine hang right about to the middle of the bottle. A little, little shorter than the middle. Okay? So when you measure it out, you want to loop your twine around. Okay? So I looped my twine around the top of the bottle where I'm going to tie it at. And then I look at how long will my ball hang down. Right about where I want it. So now I know where I have to put my knot in my twine. So now I'm going to tie a knot in my twine at the length I decided I wanted that ball stopper to hang down. Okay. Alright, and you guys remember the next step. We're going to put glue right in that initial knot that we just tied. So that our knot does not ah, come on done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you need a knot in your knot? Yes. A little glue in your knot? A little glue in my knot. Thank you. Then, we're going to tie our finishing knot in our twine. There we go. Make sure you spread that glue out so that that entire knot is covered with the glue so it stays put. Okay. So now you have your ball stopper for your bottle. And it sits right up on top. Now you have this little leftover twine down here. You can keep it there. Absolutely you can do that. What I'm going to do with mine is trim it short. Yeah, that, that I should do that. It'll be all over your phone. <laughs> That'd be bad. I want to trim mine short. Because what I'm going to do with my leftover twine is bring it down here to the bottom of her skirt, her little bow, to 
to bring my dark color from the top of my bottle down to her skirt. We pulled that orange up that we have on her skirt up here to the top to make everything coordinate. Now we're going to make sure we have some dark tone down here at the bottom so that everything is tied together. Because uh, you don't want a boring candy bottle. <laughs> That's right. She's got to be styling too. So I'm just going to wrap my leftover twine around our little bow that we tied on her skirt. And I'm going to tie it in a knot right around the back of her little bow. Give it just a little bit of dimension. And then what I'm going to do with the little ends that we have left, you guys, you guys guessed it, we're going to spin the twine so that it unravels itself because it's wrapped, right? It's twisty. Can't quite see it on my dark shirt there, my dark uh, winter shirt because it's winter time outside, <laughs> and then pull it apart. <laughs> so we have those cute little frays in her little little twine down there. So I'm going to do that to both pieces. I'm going to untwist them all the way back. So we have cute little dark brown curly cues down here with our creamy curly cues. Make it super, super cute. And then you know what's super fun? What I really tried to do for our model bottle that I'm going to try to do for this one too because this one is the same colors. I tried to order mini candy corn. They have mini candy corn. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It's the size of a plain M&M so it would come out of the bottle quite nicer than the peanut M&Ms did. I would like to order some of those for my candy bottle because they match. They match my candy bottle. Right. So I'm going to see what I can do. Obviously, you need to coordinate your candy with the candy bottle. Right. It's important. Yeah. I was actually thinking, like, I would love to have some, I don't know what it would be, Red Hots maybe? Ooh, Red some Hots. Red candy. That'd be cute. You know, with the whole, like, yeah. because I'd like a red button up it in his little bow tie. Right. That'd be really like, cute. Really cool red candy. Yes, guys. And don't forget, like, we talked about that in the beginning. Tan had talked about um, buttons and things like that. Add all the embellishments and notions that you can possibly think of. Add those to it. Get creative. Make this unique to you. Now, I trimmed her bangs down there on her little dark twine that she has going on on her skirt to bring that color down there. So there is my candy bottle. Now, you're going to take your little take your little ball stopper down because you're going to fill her with your candy of choice, mm -hmm. right? If you have leftovers, you should probably eat it. You don't want it to go stale. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then <laughs> your little stopper goes back on. Now, what's super cool about this is that you have your little cup. I didn't bring in a cute cup. Oh, here we go. Everybody gets their cute little cup, right, for your candy. Yeah. It's germ safe for these very strange times that, yes, we are still indeed in. Yes, mm. it's true. Ooh. It's true. So, you have your sweet little candy bottle, right? Full candy. Little stopper comes off. They take their individual cup. Each person gets their own cup. They pour their candy of choice into their cup. Put the stopper back in the top. And leave it safely enclosed for the next candy getter. Okay? They take their candy cup away. Eat all their candies. They come back. They take little stopper off. Refill. Put the little safety stopper back on. And you're good to go. Nobody's hands are fondling around in the candy, getting their little hand juices all over your M&M's. <laughs> None of that is happening. It's nice and safe and delicious. <laughs> so we have two amazing candy bottles here, all done and super cute. You can absolutely come on in and check these out. They will be over at the store modeling for everyone to see. Make sure that if you did create one, that you post it for us, send it to us, email it, messenger it, text it, Instagram it. Yeah. That's Is that it? Yeah. Any of those things. <laughs> Get those images to us so we can take a peek at them. And then we would love to post them to show people mm -hmm. what our amazing fans are able to create with us. Yes. So make sure they do that. If you were not able to get one before tonight, because, again, we were slacking and we were gone and a little distracted, <laughs> there are still some available at the store. Yes. 
You can also use your own items. These videos will be posted on our website under videos, mm -hmm. and the novel YouTube. idea, and on YouTube. Mm -hmm. So you can go check this out. It'll be there. Use your own products that you have at home to create your own candy bottles. If you have your favorite drink of choice, it doesn't have to be wine. You can absolutely use your favorite, uh, what is that fancy water? Um, oh, like, um, like kombucha or something? Or, or kombucha. kombucha, yep. You could use your kom kombucha bottle. Mm -hmm. You could use your, what, what is the water that's in the square bottle? I've, I don't remember. I, clearly, I don't drink it. There's water that's in square bottles. You could use that awesome. bottle, too. If, yeah. <laughs> make whatever you want to make. Use whatever bottle you want to use. You could use a milk jug if you wanted to. Right. Whatever you want to use to create your own candy bottle. Super fun. Halloween is coming up very, very mm -hmm. soon. Very fun to do. Make your bottle. Also, don't forget, next week, we are back in the store for our live shop live at the shop. store, mm -hmm. Thursday at 7. And every Thursday at 7 o'clock, be here with us. Mm -hmm. Every Thursday at 7 o'clock, we have something going on. Mm -hmm. It switches every week. We do something different. But eventually, you'll catch on to our schedule. Yeah. We do live shop store. <clears throat> we do health coaching. We do studio showcase. We do make it kit. We start over at the store live shop. 7 o'clock every Thursday. Come and play with us right here. Facebook Live. Did I forget anything? I don't think so. I think so. we nailed it. All right. All right, guys. See you later. See you again. <laughs> Have a good night, guys. Bye.